Hi everyone and welcome back to our phonics lesson today. So we are going to be learning a new sound. Are you ready to practice it? Let's see if you can. So my turn, then your turn, okay? E, 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 E. e. Well done. Okay, listen carefully. I'm going to Fred talk some words, see if you can get them. My first word is my favourite. T, E. E, T. Fantastic. And I have my cup of tea here. Okay, my next word, listen carefully. K, U, E, N. K, U, E, N. Clean. Well done. Okay, last one. Let's see. D, R, E, M. D, R, E, M, dream. Fantastic. Well done. Great Fred talking. OK, so let's have a look at our new sound today. So can you see? Here's me and I am having a cup of tea because that is my favourite thing to do, especially when I'm working from home. I like to have lots of cups of tea. So when we see this side, we say E, cup of tea. Fantastic. And when we see this side, we say E, E. How many letters make our new sound today? Two letters make one sound. And when we see these together, we say E, E. Good. Watch me. E, cup of tea. E. Fantastic. Are you ready to get speedy? Are you ready? I think I'm just going to just my computer. Ready? Did you keep up? That was speedy, wasn't it? OK, I am going to put our E sound in with some sounds that you guys already know. When you see it, don't forget to sparkle. So watch me. No peeking. Watch me. Oi. Air. A. O. E. R, I, E. Fantastic. So I sparkled, didn't I? I didn't want to say fantastic in myself. Sparkled when I saw my sound. Did you see as well that there are two ways of writing the E sound? We've got E for what can you see and E for cup of tea. My favourite one. OK, you ready? Your turn now. Don't peek. it did you remember to sparkle okay let's see this time we're going to do it really speedy you ready <gasps> did you remember to sparkle well done fantastic and i like how you're pronouncing those sounds OK, let's have a look at some green words with the E sound in. Ready. Can you see my special friend? Can you tell me? That's right. E, well done. Fred talk. Say the word. Well done. Let's have a look. Special friend E, Fred talk. K, U, E, N. Clean. Special friend, E, good. Fred talk, say the word. 
d r e m dream. Special friends. E and at the end, the letters S and E make the S sound. Can you see that? S. Well done. Fred Tort. Say the word. Let me have a go. P L E S. Please. Please. Well done. OK, I'm going to show you some words with some sounds in that you already know. We've done these over the past couple of weeks. See if you can spot them and remember them. Special friends. Air, well done. Now in your head. Lair. Well done, like an evil lair. Special friends. In your head. So oi, good, in your head. Fred in your head. Enjoy. Did you get it? Now I've shown you the side. Special friends. What and uh good. Well. Well done. Right, this time we're going to do some speedy reading. Watch me. Whirl, enjoy, whirl, lair. Did you get them? OK, let's have a look now. I need your Fred fingers. And if you haven't got them already, I need you to pause the video and go and get a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper or your whiteboard. OK, your choice. Pause me now whilst you go and get those things. OK, I've got mine ready. Let's have a look at our first spelling today. So our first spelling that we are going to do is neat. You ready? So show me your Fred fingers. Neat. It's really important we do it on Fred fingers first. Show me how many? Three, well done, facing towards you. Neat, n e t. Do you know what Miss Always has forgotten? Before we write, let me just show you some of my challenge words and see if you can get them. I'm going to put my pen away. Let me just show you some of my challenge words, which I nearly forgot about. Okay. Let's have a look. Now, this word is too big for us to sound out all at once. So let's break it into two parts. Special friends. E and ch. OK, Fred talk. R, E, ch. Reach. Did you get it? Can you remember what sound? Those three letters, when we see them together, we can just say ing. Reach. Ing. Reaching. Good. Oh my goodness, that's a long word as well. Let's split it into two parts. Hiya. Okay, special friends. E, well done. Fred talk. P, E, P. Okay, let's have a look. Special friends. Fred talk. Move myself out the way in case I'm in the way. Fred talk. N -ut. Nut. P nut. Peanut. I love peanut butter, don't tell anyone. It's my favourite. Okay, well done for doing those challenge words with me. So now we can do our spellings. So our first spelling, I think I said it, is neat. So we sound it out. Write it down for me. N e Neat, write it down. Don't forget to underline those special friends. Pause me if you need a little bit more time. Neat. N e t. Neat. Okay, our next one for today is going to be clean. 
How many sounds has clean got in it? Show me. Four, good. Facing towards you, let's pinch them. Clean. K, u, e, n. Clean. Don't forget to underline those special friends. Okay, are you ready? Ready to show me? Clean. U, e, n. Sorry, that tick's supposed to be over the u. Clean. Tick or fix? Okay, ready for the next one. Okay, our next one is reaching, so it's a bit tricky. So let's do reach and then ing as one big, because we know that that's added at the end of the words, don't we? So ready? Okay, show me how many sounds. Four, fantastic. I'm gonna do the ing as one sound today because I know you know those three letters that make the ing. Ready? Let's face them towards us, reach ing. R, e, Reach, ing, have a cut right here. Okay, you ready? Let's have a look. Pause me if you need a little bit more time because that was a tricky one. Reaching r e ch ing one big tick for your ing i n g makes an ing sound reaching okay let's have a look at my two that we already know so the first one we're going to do is dirt you ready see if you can do it with a sound in that we already know. Show me how many sounds. Three, that's right. Let's face them towards us. Dirt, d, uh, t, dirt. Right here. Pause me if you need a little bit more time. Dirt, d, uh, Dirt, tickle fix. My last spelling for today is, let's see, lair, like an evil lair. So where somebody lives like um, on Despicable Me, he lives in a lair, doesn't he, with all his minions. Okay, lair, you ready? How many sounds? Two, that's right, facing towards you. Lair, l, air. La, write it down. Do you remember the air sound? Well done if you did. Okay, pause me if you need a little bit more time. La, ooh, air. That's not fair. Well done if you got those tickle fix. Okay. Now we're going to do our hold a sentence quickly. And our hold a sentence today is, may I have a cup of tea? So polite. May I have a cup of tea? May I have a cup of tea? Okay, so I'm going to write it first and then I'm going to put it down and then you're going to have a go and see what you can remember, okay, without peeking. So my turn first. May I have a cup of tea? So I need to start my sentence with a capital letter. So may, m, mm, m, mm, a, oh, I know that one. May I play? May I, when I'm talking about I, capital letter. May I have this is a tricky red word. I wish I had a red pen to show you. May I have uh, uh, and then it's got an F on the end. Have 
May I have a a cup? May I have a cup of of tea? T e that e sound we've been doing today. T e trying to make sure my letters are cursive. My cursive handwriting. May I have a cup of tea? Do I need a full stop at the end of that? Good, I need a question mark because it's a question. I'm asking, may I have a cup of tea? So I need a question mark because I'm asking something. It's a really neat question mark. Let's read it one more time. May I have a cup of tea? Question mark. Okay, take a picture in your head. And also remember that E sound we used today. Pause me now whilst you have a go at writing it without looking, okay? Pause me now and see how much you can remember. Okay. Hopefully, pause me. Let's tick or fix our sentence. Catch the letter. Tick. Oh, M. A. Tick your A sound if you remembered. May I. And if you've got a capital letter, you can give it a big tick. May I have a. Uh, it's a tricky one. We can't sound that one out. Have. So I'm just going to give it one big tick. May I have a cup up up? May I have a cup of? And if you've spelled of correctly, you give it a tick. That's a tricky word. May I have a cup of tea? Tick for t. Tick for e. And a tick for your question mark. Okay, pause me if you need a little bit longer to tick or fix. Well done, everyone. I am so impressed. I think we will do a hip, hip, hooray, because we've done such a fantastic job. So we do that and we touch our hips. You ready? Hip, hip, hooray. Fantastic. Can't wait to see you again next week for some more phonics. Bye, everyone.